29 minutes into a ramp, a long ramp. Starting at 200 watts, going to 250 watts for 10 minutes, and then just try 300 watts for 10 minutes. This is Ed's epic tempo. More to come. Thirty seconds to go until five minutes recovery. I found this a real struggle. Definitely feeling the impact of the four times one minute KOM attempt in the legs. And recover. I report back. Just got my breath back. And in terms of the FTP percentages, that 30 minute ramp started at 70% of FTP, i.e. 200 and 210 watts. My FTP is 299 watts. Built to 250%, I had 85%. And then I was just below 100% of FTP for the final 10 minutes. The next 20 minute block, comprises 225 to 265 watts but every two minutes a 15 second surge at 300 to 400 watts i'll definitely report back 52 30 just coming for the eighth 15 second sprint in 10 seconds Final two minutes, I've been averaging 230 to 260, probably about 250 watts, i.e. 83% of FTP. Surges have been at 100, 150, sorry. The surges have been at 115% of FTP or so. Really feeling it today. Notwithstanding three rest days this week. Focusing on the pedaling technique. Nice circular motion. Push down and pull back. Even distribution of power on the legs. Nice breathing. And into recovery. I report back. One hour, nine minutes, thirty seven seconds. Just about to transition out of 11 minutes at 250 watts, I around about 83% of FTP. The final four minutes is 30-30s. 30, 30 seconds at 210, 30 seconds at 300. So here's 30 at 210 now. at 300 now Back to 
as he said. Final minute and a half at 300. Now, There we go, and recovery. That was tough. But my legs warmed up into it. I also had a Coke after the first 30 minute ramp. So, topped up the glycogen. I did also eat carbs after the four times one minute as well. 131, 33, just under 30 seconds to go in the fourth and final block. I've been averaging about 240 watts, 80% of FTP for the last 14 and a half minutes or so. It's a 15 minute block. There we go, 15 minutes into recovery. So Ed's epic tempo was definitely one to be endured today. I think most definitely the legs were feeling a little bit tired after those four one minute efforts for the Tower Bridge KOM. Notwithstanding the fact that I had a nice little breakfast in between those efforts and the epic tempo. The epic tempo is very doable um, and generally very happy with the quality of the efforts, um, other than that kind of final 10 minutes of the first 30 minute ramp, where I was a few watts below, I think, um, the average 300 watts that Ed had prescribed, but not by very much. Other than that, the quality of the efforts was good, generally above the powers prescribed by Ed, so happy to have banked it. Oh, really? <laughs> Bunny hopping, I think. Anyway, all the usual post-workout accoutrements are on the deck. Starting with a scoop of the greens. And a scoop of the whey. This one isn't the vegan friendly one. In with the blueberries for the vitamin C and the hippie milks on the deck. Tiny little bit more. So 25 grams of protein. So they'll be taken down. Looking forward to that. But also on the deck is croissants and the confiture. Still loving the vegetarian curries that Jane's rustling up and here's the pre-race fuel for tomorrow. Cauliflower, swede, parsnip on rice and it is lovely. Pre-race weighing. 
63 it is then. Well, nine weeks in without a proper professional haircut, I sometimes think that these caps are the only things that help me keep my kind of haircut dignity. So I'm going to ask very nicely Jane to kind of trim my sides again uh, later on today. But first thing, I'm experimenting now with a new pre-race fuel. And Mr. Quaker is on hand with his oat granola. Looks very nice. And I'm going to mix it with the hippie milk. Nice generous serving. And if this was a race outside, Mark Harris's nitroglycerine, the maple syrup, would also be added. I'll report back in a second. I've been wolfing this down. Really nice, really sweet. <coughs> Sorry, really crunchy. Very good indeed. But also, as an added bonus, 30% less fat. And that's a good thing. Because if you are eating ahead of um, working out or cycling, I think the emphasis does need to be on the carbohydrates and the protein and sources of carbohydrates and protein that are easy to digest and quickly broken down and converted into energy. That's why I have the amino acids. A protein shake is perfectly good as well. And that's why the fast digesting sources of carbohydrates are great. If you have a lot of fat in the food you're eating pre-workout, it does take longer for the body to digest that and break it down. And it slows the process of converting food into energy. Oh, that is a nice move. Lovely form from Jane there as well. Beautiful straight back and nice depth. Anyway, I digress. The H2O is ready. Amino acids and some cold coffee. Obviously, carbohydrates are being digested. It's time to warm up on the bike. Gotta say, I am still feeling pretty jaded. Don't know why, could have slept in today. Don't normally feel that way. But I do know that the legs aren't hurting. They're feeling fine. And once I get going on the bike and into the warm up, fingers crossed, all will be well. Decided I'm gonna change things up a tiny little bit. I think I'm getting a little bit stale, but really gonna double down on Ed's polarized training and the recovery, um, because otherwise I think I'm just gonna kind of stagnate at around you know, the four and a half to 4.6 watts a kilogram, and that isn't gonna be enough to win a race on Zwift or indeed to do any kind of damage outdoors as a Cat 3. Anyway, onwards. <laughs> so I present to you our champion loaf of bread. It arrived more than a week ago. Best before day is 9th of May. Today is the 11th of May and it's still going strong. Look at this. Let me get into the right light. Prestine and white. You wouldn't even need a toast there, although I am going to toast it. A little bit of marmalade and butter. Perfect. Paddington Bear, eat your heart out. Best of British right here. And by way of the technical specifications, you can see that I favor a thicker layer of marmalade, albeit I prefer a bit more peel, I guess, in a marmalade than the bomber man is providing right here. And a thinner layer of the butter. To my mind, that's the perfect marmalade on toast. The champion is dead. Long live the champion. And the level of excitement is extremely high because there's been a delivery and it carries the post office's official Comhunt TV watermark. Scott, thank you ever so much for this. <laughs> Love it. Superior level for bike racing without mercy, thousand subs. Super grateful. And of course, as an aspiring com hunter, I know exactly what this is for. It's to ensure that my own KOM attempts are only undertaken on the prescribed level gradient, or preferably a slight decline, that my one and only KOM, Tower Bridge, is actually on a negative decline. It's negative 0.5%, Scott. So hopefully that counts, but thank you very much.